Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're looking at question 12 from the higher level junior cycle sample exam paper. So this is the question on the trigonometric functions. It isn't as hard as most trigonometric functions questions and with my help hopefully you have no problem answering it. So let's get right into the video. So we're shown a graph with the function y is equal to cos of x and now let's have a look at part A of the question. So part A tells us to use calculator uh, to work out the value of sine 60 correct to one decimal place. So we just need our calculator for this. We can just pop in sine 60. And that will give us the square root of three over two, but it wants the answer as a decimal. So that's not 0.8660254038, which correct to one decimal place is 0.9. So part A of the question there is very, very straightforward and I don't think you'll have much issues with that. So now let's have a look at part B of the question. So it tells us to draw the graph of y is equal to sine of x on the diagram above with the same axes, scales and domain. We're told that sine 0 is equal to 0 and sine 90 is equal to 1. So we have three points that would be on the, the function sine of x. So we have the point sine 0 is 0, sine 60 is 0 0.9 and then sine 90 is 1. So with these three points, we can now draw in the graph of uh, y is equal to sine of x. So we're told that, uh, again, sine 0 is 0, so we can mark that point. Sine of 60 degrees is 0 0.9, as we worked out in part A. And sine of 90 degrees is 1. So now we can connect these three points uh, and draw in the graph. So that's our graph. That pink line there is the graph y is equal to sine of x. So now that's part B. Let's have a look at part C of the question. So part C asks us to estimate the point of intersection of y is equal to cos of x and y is equal to sine of x using our graph. So this will just be the place that both of the lines cross each other. So we can see that they cross each other at this yellow point here. So we're just going to draw a vertical line down to see where that hits the x-axis. And it hits the x-axis at 45 degrees, so therefore the uh, x value will be 45 degrees. And now we're going to draw a horizontal line across to the y-axis to get the uh, y value of the point of intersection. And it hits the y-axis at 0 0.7. So therefore, we, our point of intersection is 45 degrees, 0 0.7. So let's write that in. And that's our answer for part C, which is the final part of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped.